Keep his shoulder pads on? First yes. of all, first of all, <laughs> Paul McCourty needs to be started. He needs to be started because Brandon Weeden has been playing worse than that. Paul McCourty needs to be started. Worse than that. Yeah. I, uh, piss on you, Browns uh, GMs and coaches who have made this decision. Yeah, I should have they didn't let him fight like it that. out. I thought that they didn't let him fight it out. I think they gave it to Brandon Whedon, and I think that Coke McCoy, the, the first game of the season when they played the Eagles, they had a shot at winning that game. I think Coke McCoy could have to win that game. Absolutely. We could have a one and two team. And you put the man out there with a team with nothing in the cover last Greg, season. Greg Little, this year, he was supposed to be one of the breakout guys. Uh, this team, he has played terribly. He's in the Terrible. Dog, he's in the doghouse right now. So the, the Browns really don't have any receivers mm. threat. No. So Brandon Whedon is just, you know, he's a sitting duck, man. He's up shit street, man. <laughs> He is up shit. Yes, yeah, Trent Richardson. But as a receiver, in, though. Uh, Montario Hardesty. I mean, his, his number one receiver is <laughs> Joshua Cribb. He has a Montario Hardesty fixation, too, you know. <laughs> he only has Josh Cribb. I just like that name. You got to be dope with that name. Montario Hardesty. Montario. You can't be like, uh, Montario. Like, oh, man, what do you do? That's the next question. I, know, I, I would think he's from Canada. <laughs> Montario from Ontario? Okay. Montario. <laughs> <laughs> we digress. Give me a score on the game. I don't even think there needs to be a score. I think Brown, <laughs> Brown's probably going to be the negative. It doesn't even need to be a score. <laughs> nah, but they going to get 21 then get off the sticks? I think, yeah, I think uh, the Ravens are going to skunk these guys. I think it'll be 20 skunk at some point. I think it's going to be one of the more... Uh, one of those games where you know you come out there and you just have a good time. That's the <laughs> that's 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 the Thursday night game, yeah, right? Thursday night game. Oh, I'm going out. I'm gonna go watch the Avengers. Ah, ah, damn. Well, Tony Stark, you got to lose attention. Yeah. So give me a score, man. Ah, uh, come on, Benny. Forty-nine. Damn. <laughs> okay, maybe I'll go forty-nine. Flacco throwing the lights out. 30, 30, 31 to fourteen. I think the Ravens' backup quarterback is going to see a lot of time tonight. Who's their backup quarterback? I have no idea. It doesn't Kyle matter. Bowler. He, he's going to eat. They, they don't Kyle still Bowler. have Troy Smith, do they? <laughs> is Vinny Testaverde still playing? Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I don't think there's a chance in hell uh, for the Browns. Um, I, I, I'll just say tw- I'll say 24 to uh, 2. Oh, you're nice. <laughs> Dude, they got a safety? What? Yeah, they yeah. have a safety. Right. Who? 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 Dequel Jackson. Jackson. Uh, Dequel Jackson. Or Joe Hayden on the blitz. Joe Hayden on the blitz. Yeah. 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 I got the game 34-3. I get a Browns and field goal. Wow. I, I, dang, I'm done. <laughs> Y'all don't give me the Browns. I think Trent Richardson's going to get a touchdown. No, Trent Richardson's going to break a big run and then he's going to get stopped at the 10-yard line. <laughs> and then they're going to go three and out and kick a field goal. Yeah. It'll be 34-3. Flacco will be sitting down by the middle of the second quarter. Yeah, man. We're going to see a lot of that Ravens. Flacco going to have three touchdown passes by the second quarter. Yeah, hey, hey, man. It's a, a no-brainer. Anquan Bowden's going to reemerge. Tori Smith's going to have another big week. He's <laughs> the Ray Rice and Boyd. Next up on the slate, you got the Super Seattle uh, Seahawks. <laughs> the 2-1. Cool. and one, The 2-1. and one. See, I, I was a fan of the Seattle Seahawks until they just bitched the league. But see, it's not their fault. I mean, it's not their fault. But but for you to come out and to support the league, uh, nah. what are you supposed to do? Vinny, Vinny has a lot. Does that a lot? He misdirects his blame, like yeah. you know, with with, with Goodell. I, I I've always but, contended but, but that I, he gives Goodell that. too much credit. I admitted that I have given him too much blame, and I've shifted that towards the the uh, the owners. But the fact that he could have changed the ruling of that call puts him back in the doghouse. Now with the Seattle Seahawks, all right, Russell Wilson, he had an interview right after the game. And it was a big old smiling cheese on his face like he just won the lottery. But I mean, he, he can't, he can't well, be on there frowning. But what's I mean, he supposed think, to be like? I think that as an NFL player, you have, there's a tradition in the NFL. I think you're supposed to play the pride. I think you're supposed to play the sportsmanship. All right? And I don't think that they displayed any of that. You I should forget about the politics. See, but that's not where I come from. I don't come from the politics. I understand that, but that's a part of the game. But still, I, well, I'll say this. It might be an opinionated thing. I have a problem with it. I have a problem with Golden okay. Tate. I can accept that. Saying that he doesn't know what he's talking about when he know he blatantly did a pass. I, I, I can understand, I, man. I would be very happy with him if they came out and they said, you know, shit, that game was blown. You know, I don't think he did that. You know, but I'll accept this win. You know, I'm not going to take it away. You know, I would have I gave them more respect, but they lost right. a lot of respect for me. I still, who, who are they playing? This well, game? they're 2 and one They're playing the uh, St. Louis Rams in St. Louis, who are 1-2. and two. I think that, uh... 
the Seahawks should win only because That's of their defense. The defense, yeah. The defense is beast. Chris Clemens and Bruce Irvin by themselves. They haven't given up 40 points yet. Those, Just those two guys. Yeah. Just Chris Clemens and Bruce Irvin. You send them boys? Sam Bradford's in for it. Hey, man, that secondary, the secondary, no joke. No, that secondary series. Pete Carroll, that stop secondary. being a bitch. He's done a pretty good job. He's a good coach. Pete Carroll, I, I, He's a good I, coach, man, but I, I lost a lot of respect, man, because that, that was a very bad call. And I think that nobody from the Seahawks puts out a statement that, you know, that... They're not they supposed to, man. They don't have to, They're not supposed to. You, know, you that, want them to be too too I, prideful, and it's just the NFL. I want them to respect the game, though. It's like they're like the Republican the Party. Game. I want them to respect the game. That's okay. all I want them to do. They're not going to do that. Yeah. Next up on the slate, the San Diego Chargers, who are 2-1, and one, versus the Kansas City Chiefs in Kansas City, who are 1-2. and two. I love those games. The AFC West. You yeah, never even know. When, you even never when, know. Yeah, even when they're horrible teams, they're great games. If you I, have a chance to see it this week, watch it, because it's going to be a hell of a game. Nah, I can't call, these, I can't call those games. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to step out on faith, and I'm going to say Matt Castle has an awesome game. And I'm going to say that they even it up. And Matt Castle's going to throw for like 250. Jamal Charles is going to run for about 250. Oh, Lord. Because he did run for 233 last week. But that was against the same team that their defense has been trash. I'm I mean, sorry, but tra- San Diego's defense is unstoppable. They played better than the Saints. A lot better. Well, San Diego's only How giving up 50. How many points did they give up last week? That's How many points did they give up last week? 27. 27 points. But no doubt, they're not a great defense. They're better than the Saints. And I think that the Chiefs who've had problems with the Bills offense. Right? The, the Chiefs, Bills aren't that bad. The I, Bills aren't that bad. But I think the Chiefs, the Chiefs have a better set of offensive weapons than Dwayne Bowe and in Jamal Charles. Look at Dwayne Bowe. He had a huge game last week. And I see him coming out again, breaking out again. Ryan Matthews, Malcolm Floyd. Ryan Matthews has done nothing. Antonio Gates. I'm not scared of Malcolm Floyd and I'm not scared of Antonio Gates. I think the Chargers will win this game with their defense, but I think that their defense isn't showing up. No, I got KC winning it. I have Casey winning it too. I have them. I think Jamal Charles is a big game. I think Dwayne Bowe has a big game. Give me a score. I'll give it. I'll say 21, 21, 21, 17. It's an arrowhead? Yes, it's an arrowhead. 17, 14, Chiefs. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go with Vinny, actually. To the T, 21, 14. 21, 14. KC. Why? I'm sorry, 21, 14 for me, KC. I think Castle will throw two. I think Jamal Charles will run one, but his yards are going to be nuts. He's gonna, he's gonna have yards up the end. Chargers better be ready to stop that that, oh, yeah. that offensive line and well, well, Charles. The, well, the big story with the, the Chiefs is that Peyton Hillis, man, he, he's taking a step back. Yeah. Peyton Hillis is supposed to be the guy who rushes it in. And the, you know, the goal line says Sean Drawn. Yeah. Drawn has been the guy who has stepped up. Drawn has been drawing all the carries. Oh, that's terrible. Uh, I, I, I tried. I tried. <laughs> I tried. You gotta have him. Every now and again, a group one comes out. Ah, uh, they just they make my skin. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Well, this is definitely a game to make your skin crawl. The one and two Tennessee Titans. Woo! Going out to Texas to play them Texans. Now remember, the Titans used to be the Oilers. Yep. So Bud Adams is still the owner of the Titans. Mm-hmm. So he wants this game. Yeah. Is it in Houston? It's in Houston. Oh, you know he wants. And it. they're undefeated. And I'm. And if I'm not, I, I think he still lives in Houston. Well, I have one thing to say to that. Uh, bullshit. Because the Titans gonna win the game. Uh, I think the Houston Texans offense is just too yeah. powerful right now. CJ, Arian Foster. CJ Two K has to run for like 300 yards to win this game. I'm going out on the loop. You know what I'm Jake Locker! Jake, I'm jumping on the Jake Locker He's bandwagon! Is there a bandwagon? I gotta take the headphones there's off. Not a, there's a lot of room on the bandwagon yeah, right now. There ain't bandwagon. too many of us I up gotta, here. I gotta take the headphones off for that one. <laughs> I don't know how you can do it. I think the Houston Texans defense is just. It, they're gonna swaddle Jake Locker whole. Chris I think Jake Locker with, is gonna hang in there. With San Francisco's loss last week, I slid Houston to the number one spot. Houston is the number one team in the NFL right now. I just don't see. I, they, they have it on both sides. They have it on defense. They have it on offense. They have the best. I predict the they're gonna lose it on a referee call at the oh, last. No. no. I'm gonna do it this week in case it happens. Oh no. <laughs> nah. I don't Give me a good. score. <laughs> Give me a score, Magic Man. I say the Titans are going to upset the the Texans. Twenty-four to twenty-three. Ooh. I. I, I, I don't see it happening. I have the Texans winning. Uh, 
how the Texans win, and it's going to be more of a defensive game, but I think after a while, it's just, they're just going to lull them to sleep. The run game is too good with the Texans. You know, they can get to Johnson, I mean, Johnson anytime. time. Uh, I have the Texans win 27, 27 to 10. I'm, I'm going to give an ugly score. I think the Texans are going to win. It's going to be like 31 to 11. Oh, my God. How do you score 11? 11? Exactly. <laughs> yeah. How do you score 11? <laughs> Touchdown, and two two-point three. conversion, field goal. Oh, man. What do we get in the last second of the game? And a three-run homer. <laughs> <laughs> That's how to replace the rest probably will call it. Ah. Lefty. So, yeah, that, that'd be an interesting game to keep up with. Next up, the New York football giants. Two and one. Going out to Philadelphia to go see Michael Vick, hey, who are also two and one. I have one thing to say about the Giants, man. I think Eli Manning this year has proved that he's the best quarterback in the NFL. Mm-hmm. So from what we've seen so far. Oh no, yeah. Now, that's what I'm just speaking on this season. Absolutely. Um, this year he's shown that he's one of the best quarterbacks. He is the best quarterback, and I think that that Eagles secondary have been very pedestrian. I think their 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 line and their linebackers they've been providing the pass rush, but that yeah. secondary is yeah. overpaid and they're not good enough. Yeah. Rogers, Cromarty, and Austin Moore are living up to. Rogers, Cromarty has extremely disappointed me. I was very high on him when he came out of Tennessee State. And, and, and Akeem Nix is back this week. So you're going to have Nix, Garden, Cruz. You got Andre Brown and Amon Bradshaw. This team, See, I the think, Giants team is that. I think Nandi's okay, but Dominic Rodgers Cromartie has looked extremely pedestrian. He needs to go back out to Arizona well, where, my, where things are cracking. My, <laughs> my problem is the safety. Kirk Coleman, he, yeah. he didn't look too good last yeah. week. But they won. You know, they, they, they remind me of the Jets or the Cowboys. They're a team that... They went ugly, but they're winning. Yeah. You know, but I don't think that is. They have won ugly, and they've been a disappointment. I don't think. I mean, I don't think they're going to beat this Giants team. I think, but it's no. always a good game, Eagles Giants. Yeah. But I have the Giants coming out. My, my score for the Giants game, this game, I got, I got twenty four to twenty four to thirteen. Jason Pierre-Paul will have three sacks. Mm. He's going to drive Michael Vick crazy. Are you telling me we're going to see a Nick Foles sighting this week? Oh, league? man. We're going to see some Nick Foles. We're going to see you some... You're going to see some Mike Kafka? They're going to call Mike Ron Jaworski. Ah, <laughs> they going to get Jaws out of here. Oh. Norm Van Brocklin. Donovan Brockland. Suitner. <laughs> Listen, please. Uh. I mean, I think that the Eagles have... They put all their stock in the Mike Vick, man. And Mike Vick is it. Producing, and I don't think that he should be producing. I think that team is going to live and die by LaShawn McCoy, who is the best player on their team. I say Giants 20, 21, Eagles 13. I think it's going to be the exact same score of the Patriots Baltimore game last week 31 30. Who, who wins? Who yeah, Giants? Giants. 31-30. I think Mike Vick is going to make his comeback statement game. I think Mike Vick is going to throw for over 250 yards. That feeds, I don't see that as a comeback statement game. Because they've been the way he's been playing? Uh, we're just talking about this season. The way he's been playing, he hasn't... Well, yeah. I mean, last week against the Eagles, he did throw, he did throw. You mean he's been playing like a dog? Ah! He's been playing like a <laughs> chihuahua. He's been playing like a chihuahua. Yo boys. quiero taco, man. So, yeah, I see it 31-30. I see Mike Vick playing a lot better. But they still don't win. No. no, I think the Giants have the. Yeah, they're gonna. They always find a way to win. Yeah, they do. You know, I, it's gonna be in the fourth quarter. I too. believe in life. Oh, <laughs> next game on the slate. <laughs> next game on the slate. And you should enjoy this one, Lou. The one and two New England Patriots going out to Buffalo to see those Bills who are two and one shuffling off to Buffalo. Uh, I actually think this is going to be one of the interesting games because yeah. I think the Bills, yeah. after that Jets loss after the first yeah. week, they've been showing that yeah. they're, they're, they're not that bad. Uh-huh. Um, you know, I have, I, I, I always say one thing about the Patriots, though. They always come up big when people doubt them. You know, yeah, you don't doubt Tom Brady. I don't doubt Tom Brady. I don't doubt Rob Gronkowski. I don't, I don't see anybody in that secondary of the, of the Bills being able to They got Deion out. Branch back in the fold. Deion Branch is back. Wes Welker looks good. Brandon so Lloyd. Wes Welker always looks good. Brandon, looks Brandon, Lloyd, Brandon Lloyd was looking very good last week. Yeah. You know? I thought the Ravens barely came out of that team. And the Ravens, who I think is the best team in the AFC, you know, for the Patriots to play like that, they're still yeah. a, a cream of the crop yeah, yeah, team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is early. That that one too will be forgotten in the next couple weeks. But uh, yeah, but I still I still actually I'm I'm choosing the Bills. I'm choosing the Bills will score. I'm choosing the Bills. I think it's gonna be very close. I think the Bills gonna win off the replacement referee bus. Now. 
Nah, I'm good. Making the ref jumps out of the audience. <laughs> pulls off and his he shirt. has a Hello Kitty underneath. Ah, <laughs> shout out to Cam. Oh, but nah, man, I ain't going to do that. But I think, I think the Bills going to win. I think it's going to actually be one of the more high-scoring games. Really? Man. I, I really think it is. I think the Buffalo Bills. At, but I, I'm debating this on if CJ Spiller play. Okay. CJ Spiller didn't get hurt last week. Fred Jackson's coming back. He's coming back this week? Yeah, he's coming back this week. They okay. said, well, he's practiced. You know, we don't know for sure. Yeah, because I, I know originally it said like week five. Well, hopefully he comes back. But if CJ Spiller is there, I think that the Patriots are going to have a tough time. They are. Hey, oh, I'm sorry. Well, let me just say my score. My score is uh, 21 17. Buffalo. Buffalo. Patriots 31. Mm-hmm. Buffalo 13. Damn. I think uh I think uh Brady uh has a comeback game. I think they're gonna come back after that whole debacle with yeah, uh, Bill Belichick that. and uh that 50 that loss. I think they're gonna I think they're gonna uh make a statement this game. They're gonna they're, they're gonna come out firing. Yeah. I'm I'm with Lou. I'm gonna say the Patriots 31 7. I just can't pick the Patriots. <laughs> I'm just trying to be down. I hate them too, but they're you know. I mean, I, but I, I, I think also, they're gonna come back I also strong this game. The Bills, man, I seen the Bills last year. No, no, the Bills don't look bad. They've been stepping. They don't up. look bad, but I don't like I don't like Ryan Fitzpatrick. Yeah. I don't trust him. I'll say that. I don't trust him when you need a score in the fourth quarter and you're down by six. Well, I think Stevie Johnson is, is somebody who can have a big game. I mean, he can, but he has to get the ball. Mm. But do you think that pass rush is? I mean, the Buffalo Bills, you know, they are not a team who gives up sacks. It was really Ryan Fitzpatrick having miscues yeah. throwing that pass. Yeah. These last two weeks, I think he's gotten back to his groove. Yeah. You don't forget about Chandler Jones. And he hasn't done nothing since that one game. Man. All right, it's time. But you got to give rookies a shot, man. Man, I don't give no You got to give rookies a shot. They, they're not going to give love to his alma mater, Syracuse. Ah, uh, man. Go Orange. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of go orange, <laughs> next up on the slate, the Cincinnati Bengals, who are 2-1, and one, head out to Jacksonville to go see Maurice Jones-Drew, who are 1-2 and two in Blaine Gap. I got the Bengals, man. I think A.J. Green's going to have a, a hell of a day. Andy Dalton's going to have a hell of a day. And I think that, that defense, man, I think they can step up against the run. What about the law firm? <laughs> yeah, no. that's, that's Ben Jarvis Green out. No, no law firm sightings? Uh, I mean, I think, nah. I, I found it funny how the law firm hadn't fumbled for a long time. He fumbled last week. They were talking about how he was the model of consistency. And he didn't put the ball on the ground. Mm-hmm. And he put the ball on the ground. Yeah, the kids are dead. I love it. Nah. <laughs> they always do it. Though. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Next up. He shoots 90% from the free throw line. Oh, off the <laughs> back of the rim. <laughs> <laughs> You gotta love it. And they did that to Ray Allen one day. Like, uh, he made 17 straight. Uh, he just. Oh, he's the so, Blank. Uh, next up, we have. Oh, I'm sorry. I apologize. Uh, I don't even give Jacksonville a chance. <laughs> Quite honestly. In Jacksonville, I mean, they won last week. But. But I, that was against That Bengals defense. The Bengals defense is. That defense shit. is not gonna let the Jacksonville Dargo score. Hey, shit. Adam Pac Man Jones. He might get a little bit Hey, man, Pac Man is back. Pac-Man is back, baby. He got that shit behind him. He's he's playing now. Uh, he might not be man up on everybody, but what score do you give it? I give it a uh, Cincinnati not high score. I say 24 to 10. 17 10. Uh Bengals. Bengals. Okay, yeah, I think Dalton's gonna throw for over 300 yards again. I think uh and AJ Green's gonna get his hundred. Yeah. So he I mean, it's gonna be like a 20. I'll just say twenty to six, just for that. Twenty to six. Twenty to six. Yeah, that's realistic. They'll, they'll sit down, you know. They'll sit them down before the end. Yeah, yeah. I gave them ten because I believe Jones Drew will get one touchdown. Hey man, we, I, I'm hearing you. I mean, I'm talking about a lot of blows. Yeah. And I, for for some reason, I just don't think that that's going to. But be you know good. why I, I add an extra blowout element because of the damn replacement ref last week. Mm-hmm. Coaches are throwing at the pit like, look, we don't, we can't keep any games close. Yeah. So uh, yeah, that's that game. Next up. You got the battle of the one and twoers. Them Oakland Raiders going out to Denver, Maha Stadium. Another AFC West. To I see love Peyton Manning. That'll be fun. Who's lost his last, who's dropped his last two. I think this is the day we see the Peyton Manning that we've all been waiting for. I hope so. You know, I, I, I recently made a trade to get the Marius Thomas on my fantasy team, so I don't need the Marius Thomas to step up. To play that ball this week. <laughs> and, and I'd also like to see Wilson Gay. He, you know, he, he's been hurt, but... 
But I guess that Oakland defense, though? I mean, Oakland defense had to play well, but let's, let's, let's temper those expectations. They gave up 31 <laughs> points last week against the Steelers offense. They had no running game that was not existing. Uh-huh. So, you know, if, if, if the Broncos can come out, Peyton Manning can handle himself in the pocket, and he's going to get his, he's going to get over 300 yards uh, 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 pass man. I think I think Manny's gonna come back. He's uh, by just by his will, he'll win this game. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, I don't think he's the same guy he used to be yet. I don't know if he'll ever get back to that point. He doesn't. He won't get the velocity back. Yeah. Well, he doesn't. So, he doesn't have the arm strength. He never had the arm strength. Right. He never had huge arm strength. But the question is, how much of it will he get back? And I think you know, as the season progresses, he'll get more and more. Yeah. And I yeah. think I I think, but he'll find a way this this week. Tell me some numbers. Um. Broncos, 17, 17 to 16. Broncos, 14, 6. Broncos, 10, 3. Mm. Next up on the slate, you got the Miami Dolphins at 1 and 2, mm. heading out to Arizona. Where them boys is hot, 3 and 0. They're done. Miami's all done. Dolphins, do- there's gonna be dolphins. Is this, like, is this Matt Moore's on the, week? Dolphins on the grill. Is this, is this Matt Moore's week to shine? I mean, I don't think the fact is that the, the dolphins fans expect a whole bunch from Ryan Tannehill. You know, Reggie Bush got injured. He's coming back this week. They're riding Reggie Bush right now, uh, and they're riding their defense. And to be honest, I just don't, I just don't think that they'll be able to compete. With the, with the Cardinals defense, I think their Cardinals defense looks There's their front seven. They're suffocating. It's unbelievable. They're They've given up 40 points in three games. 40 points. It, it's ridiculous. You know, I didn't see the NFC West being such a juggernaut. No. They're one of those teams. And the Dolphins, like last week, I thought the Jets should have handled them. I think this week we'll see Ryan Tannehill running for the hills. Tannehill running for, for the hills. Hill. Got a score? Uh, I. Arizona, I think Arizona's going to win 27-13. Arizona. <laughs> it's hard for me to give numbers, man. I'm not 32. 32? 30, 30 to 7. Arizona. I got Arizona in this game. I can't give Cobb more than 21 points. <laughs> I actually think Kevin Cobb played very well last week, and I think we want to see him. 21-10. I think Malcolm Malcolm Floyd and and, and Fitzgerald, they're they're starting to... Michael Floyd. Michael Michael Floyd. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What Floyd did I give? You gave the San Diego Chargers. The San Diego Floyd. Sorry about that. Uh, Michael Floyd from Notre Dame, their first-round pick is... I I always said, if he gets his act together on the other side... Yeah. And you can, you know, because he's not going to get double-covered. Fitz is going to get that. Absolutely. If this kid catches some passes on the other side, psh, who the hell are you going to check? Well, I think it depends on if they're running the show up. I mean, Beanie Wells, he, he's... Beanie, he's, I, he's I understand, isn't going to play. Yeah, he's not playing. So, Ryan Williams, I really want to see what Ryan Williams can do. I think they even have success. I think they have on the Cardinals offensive line. They didn't want to see that. No, their offensive line is serious. They, they play well. They, they kept Kevin Cobb up upright. And I think that team's on a high. They're on a high on themselves. I think they're going to keep going. Because I think they want to keep that lead. Uh, well, keep that lead against 49ers. You know? Absolutely. Give their fans a shot. Take it, man. Absolutely. Next up on the slate. Oh, how many games you got left, man? Mm, three more games. Three more games. You got a RG3 to Washington Redskins, who are one and two. RG3! Heading out to Tampa, who is also one and two. That's a good matchup. Very good matchup. But uh, I don't see the Tampa Bay. I don't think Tampa Bay has a chance. I think the one, the one thing that Tampa Bay doesn't have is a good secondary. I think Tony Romo just sucks, and that's why I can't You don't think. like a kid to live? I mean, there's, he's all right. He hasn't shown up this year, though. He hasn't shown up to be a, a serious He's a troublemaker. I have the RG3 led Red Skins. I think have a wonderful game. Alfred Morris is going to get a couple touchdowns. RG3 is going to throw it all crazy like you know, Josh Morgan, hopefully, won't blow the game. You know, but I think RG3 is going to win this. I got him 24 12. So, it's it, wh- wh- where's the game at? It's in Tampa. It's in Tampa. That's that's key because you know I've I've seen a lot of sloppy games in Tampa. I don't know, you know, weather and everything falls into place. I've, I love Tampa when it rains. It's that pirate. It's that pirate. Yeah, it's that pirate ship and everything, you know. But I I, I, I think that RG three wants to make up for last week. Yeah. He uh you know he the team came back, but it really wasn't due to him. Yeah. It was due more to the running game. 
Uh, Louis, shout out to Lou the God at Twitter. Uh, he uh, he said that RG3 had nothing to do with that comeback, and I think uh, that you know that played on his pride a little bit, and so he has to come back strong. I think he'll yeah. do that. I'm a big fan, and so yeah. Oh, uh, it's gonna be uh, yeah. Let me give you a score. Uh, let's see, Redskins. It's going to be uh, 19 to 10. 19 to 10. That's a good score. I'm going to go against the grain. I'm going to give Tampa a win because they, they're thirsty. They're desperate. And they're a lot more desperate than the rest of us. Well, I think the rest think they want it too. I mean, if they lose this game, you're talking about having the same season you had last year, I think. No, they'd be better than last season. They're just only a game or two. And plus, everybody else is 2-1. Everybody else division. is 2-1. If they get this win. They lose this. They lose this. They're out. They're not going to catch up with the you know, that's. I mean, it's not a division game, but it's big. Yeah, I think I'm going to give it to Tampa. 13-10. Uh, Close game. Close game. Close yeah. game. Uh, we got two more games on the slate. Big game. 0-3. New Orleans Saints. Going out to Lambo. Lambo. Green Bay, who is one and two. Packers are going to be pissed. They just got cheated out of a win. The NFL just shitted on their, their team logo. Aaron Rodgers are going to have close to 500 yards passing. Woo! Greg Jennings, Jordan Nelson, Michael Finley, all those guys are going to have big games. Woo! You're going to see Clay Matthews running wild at Drew Brees. Well, I, I told our resident uh, New Orleans fan at oh, work. Yeah. That uh, he might as well kill us, I, when I asked him wh- where they were playing and he said Green Bay, I, I just looked down and I just shook my head. And he said, Yeah, I know, I know, it's gonna be a rough week. I'm like, yeah. Brother, it, you don't know how rough it's gonna be, man. Shout out to Vess, I won a lot of money off you for them Falcon Saints. <laughs> I hope and he, he hasn't reluctantly he hasn't asked uh, to bet me this year. Uh, are we sitting on the furniture that you bought? <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to you, Vest. Appreciate you for paying an installment. We'll take it. Uh, I, I just, I'll take the, I'll take the record straight, man. I think the Packers gonna win out of everything. They're gonna bust this game wide open and early. You know, I think Aaron Rodgers is pissed. TJ Lang is pissed. Uh, I, I you don't want offensive the linemen pissed. Oh, nah. I got, I got the Packers winning 34-10. 34-10? Wow! You, you don't think Drew Brees is going to be ready to throw the lights out? I don't think that Drew Brees... I think... Have I think it's going to be a, a shootout. Yeah. I think it's going to be like 34 to 32. Last year, <laughs> last year I would have said that, but seeing the Saints, their offensive line can't block. The receivers aren't catching. I just think they're going to have Drew Jimmy Brees Graham. doing three-step three three drops drop. and just heave it. And let Colson get under it. Yeah, because Marcus Colson's so fast. So he's yeah, yeah, he's, just, he's such a speedster. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say, 34-32? 34-33. I'm, ooh. 34-33. Packers? Packers. Packers? Barely, right. by the skin of their chinny chin chin. I'm going, this is going to be my high score game of the week. I'm going to go Packers 41-30. Woo! And I'm going to say Drew Brees is going to pull out all the stops. He's going to look good, but he's not going to win. They're not going to win. Darren Sproles is going to get released. He's going to finally get out there and start making plays. Mark Ingram's going to run the ball well. And they're going to make – Devery Henderson is going to have over 100 yards of season. I just don't think that the Saints will have – I mean, Drew Brees will have the time. I think Clay Matthews is proven to be yeah. still one of the best yeah, pass rushers. Yeah, but their pass rush isn't that great in Green Bay. What do you mean? Clay Matthews has the most sacks in the NFL. Clay Matthews. I said their defense. Listen. Collectively. Listen. Collectively. Listen. Nick Perry has done well. Done well. He's done well these last few days. DJ Raji, I think, is back. DJ Raji's the man. He's playing like DJ Raji. Uh, my whole thing with, this, with the uh, Packers is last week and the week before, the defense has played very well. Last week, they literally only gave up seven points. Last week. All right. Uh, the week before that, and they didn't look as good. They were playing very good. But, um, I just think that the Packers, after that loss, after the way they lost, yeah. oh man, they, they're going to come with a very, they're going to be a chip on their shoulder. You think Aaron Rodgers doing push up with the shirt off right now? No, I think Aaron Rodgers is uh, doing discount double checks. He's he just, you know, <laughs> chopping it up. He's, he's just getting ready, man. He's I think that Greg, Greg Jennings is going to be ready, man. All yeah. Them, all oh, them. yeah, they're they going to be hungry. What's his score? Oh, I told you. 34 10. Right, right, right. Let me say that first. Okay, and the last game. The Monday night game I cannot wait to watch. I think it's going to be huge. The Chicago Bears, 2-1. The Bears. Head out to Dallas in that new stadium. Two teams with the worst quarterback play of the season. Those were his two fantasy oh, quarterbacks. Ah. <laughs> I had Tony Romo and Jay Cutler, man. I already dropped Jay Cutler and I traded Tony Romo. Both, both teams are 2-1. Both 
have How? I don't know. Both have not lived up to expectations. Brandon Marshall has looked mediocre. Des Bryant has a mediocre. But one thing I can The say, Battle of the Mediocre. One thing I can say for sure is that I think the Cowboys defense is playing better than the Bears defense. I think the Bears defense has looked shaky. I mean, no doubt they had a good game against the Rams last week, but it's the Rams. You have Danny, you have to check Danny Amendola, okay? It, it, it's not that tough. Alright. A um, Danny Amendola sighting. He hated on Danny Amendola. I'm not hating on him. I just don't think that he's the number one receiver. No, I like I like Dallas. I think that secondary upgrade is huge. Oh yeah, I have a play more. Uh, I think the market. Not Clay. even Claiborne, who they got from the Chiefs, too. Uh, Brandon Cobb was the end of the Yeah, name. Brandon yeah. Cobb. That was a huge pickup. I mean, it was. I, I mean, I have no doubt. I think the Cowboys will win this game. I don't think it's going to be a flat out win, though. I think it's going to be. It's going to be ugly. ugly. It's going to be a really ugly game. I, the Bears I, love ugly games, though. I, I got I got the, the Cowboys winning. 14 10. 14 10. Will? I got the Bears. Well, Bears. Because I, I think I think the Cutler and uh, and Marshall are going to connect. I think it's taking a little bit of time. Well, remember, Matt Forte, when we played the game this game, we got Michael Bush starting every back. He did have a good game. Yeah, Michael Bush is not a bad backup. Uh, but I, I still think, I, I, I like, I think this whole thing with Cutler, uh, the controversy with him pushing his lineman a few weeks ago as he walked off the field. I think he's gonna step up, and and I think the offense realized like, yo, this is for real. Yeah. We gotta get moving. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I think he's gonna he's gonna. It was just gonna be a matter of time before him and Brandon Marshall uh, got going. And I don't see anybody in that defensive backfield for Dallas stopping him. Mm. Well, it'll be interesting. I, I, I will be watching. Hopefully the Did you give a oh no, I didn't give a score. Uh, the reps don't I'm saying uh, Bears 24, Dallas 21. It's gonna be a good game. 17, 14, Dallas. Mm. And that's the uh, that's the slate for the week, man. You know, um, it's gonna be a good week again. It'll be interesting to see who can uh, remain on top because it's a lot of one and twos. It's a lot of two and ones. I mean, it'll be good. I think the, I think this season is gonna be basically a duo season. We had the first three games of the place of rest. I don't think those games counted. They don't count. Oh, they count. I think all those. I think all those are thrown out of the window. I think with these official reps coming in, you basically teams start with an O and O slate. Yeah. We're going to see teams that may maybe not have done so well start doing better. Well, now you can't blame the refs. And vice versa. No, you can't blame you the refs. You're able to blame the refs. Breaking news: R. A. Dickey has won his twentieth game. Becoming the first, the the, the Mets uh, knuckleballer. We're switching to baseball. R.A. Dickey. That, it, but it's breaking news. I mean, this is the first knuckleballer to win 20 games in more than three decades. Okay, struck out 13 today. Won his 20th game today. Congratulations. Kudos. Congratulations, R.A. Dickey. I don't talk about the Mets because they, they become a pun <laughs> of, of, of total... Uh, you New York fan. Terrible. Terrible. <laughs> they're, they're so bad. When you guys go, you go hard. I had to do an 0 and 16 season, and I still was there. Every we were day. 1 and 15. The Jets. You were Man, 1. I and lived. 15. I lived through that. <laughs> I had a coach walk out on me midway season and go to the college ranks. Uh, okay. Man, you're not fair, man. You got two teams that just have terrible history. Man. Right. So man. this is my point, and I still support. It. I had a coach leave after one day. Nah. Uh, <laughs> 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 Touche. And go on to win three Super Bowls. So before we end this show, because we've had a wonderful show, <coughs> I'm going to go ahead and just transfer out of what Lou talking about. <laughs> and I'm going to show some love to the MLB real very quickly. MLB Mets. MLB. He just, Mets he just, are in I, Ike Davis hit his 31st home run. Nobody cares. They're not winning. <laughs> <laughs> Top of the, it's, about, it's about what? One more week left? Oh yeah, something like that. No, but, wait, I don't know why we're talking Mets. The Mets aren't even in the playoff talks. Yeah. No, no, I'm not talking about Mets. I'm talking about baseball. No, no, I'm talking about this, this guy. I'm talking about this guy. <laughs> it's gotten very tense on this show. <laughs> I mean, don't, I'm a hurry don't, up. Don't talk Mets to me when we're about to be in October and they're under 500. Get the get out of here. Get out of here. I wish I could get it out. Well, let's get that t- you know, Tigers talk out. Ah, top of the AL East, the New York Yankees at 90 and 65. Top of the AL Central, the Detroit Tigers, 83 and 72. Game over the White Sox. Top of the AL West, the Texas Rangers at 91-64. Hold on, one little tidbit about the Tiger White Sox. White Sox have suicide, like, they, they committed suicide. <laughs> okay, they, they, I knew you were going to say it, though. They're killing themselves, man. They, they had this, 
I thought the Committing tag- Harry Carey? Ah. I thought the Tigers were going to lose out, man, but it looks like they might actually make it. And shout out to Miguel Cabrera, man. He might be able to win the Triple Crown. I hope he does. I'm a huge fan. I hope he wins the Triple Crown. He deserves it. Well, the Rangers, they're going to sit down, Josh Hamilton. I mean, uh, yeah. Josh Hamilton. Yeah, Josh Hamilton. I always, I always think Josh Hamilton. I want to make sure I said Josh. Josh, they always, they're going to sit Josh Hamilton in these next these last week. So, you know, Cabrera has a shot. Uh, top of the AL East, the Washington Nationals, at 94 and 61, they have clinched their playoff spot. The Atlanta Braves, who are 90 and 65, have also clinched their playoff spot, the first wild card spot. Uh, top of the NL Central, the Cincinnati Reds, at 93 and 62, they are the division champs. The uh, top of the NL West, the San Francisco Giants, are 90 and 65, they are the division champs. I, I, I thought it was very uh, upsetting that the LA Dodgers fell out the way they did. Yeah. You know, I think there's going to be, there's a lot of, of anger in that LA mm. uh, fan base. Shout the out to Matt Kemp. You know, well, I mean, I thought that they were going to do well with that after that trade with the Red Sox. I mean, mm. that was big news. You know, and people were hacking it up. And mm-hmm. They didn't produce, you know, so hopefully next year they can get together. Ah, uh, that whole thing about production. Mm-hmm. And a quick little tidbit before we close the show. Uh, just a little NCAA football. I know you guys don't really care. I mean, oh, oh man, there, there were some good games last week. I, I especially tuned into that Clemson Florida State game. Florida State looks electric. Well, I mean, they look good, but their defense still looks shaky. I think their defense is shaky, but. To win a national championship, you have to play defense. Especially Florida State Alabama. is the only school that I've seen that could even enter a game with Alabama. Because mm. there, there, there still isn't a playoff. College football is they? Uh, this season, this season, yeah, this season, season they will be. It'll be implemented, the, 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 it'll be implemented this oh, year yeah, for the first oh, time. Yeah. This season. Oh, that's good. <clears throat> yeah. That's a step in the right direction. Yeah. It's interesting. There are a lot of teams that I didn't expect to be uh, as good as they are. Mm-hmm. Uh, one, Stanford, I think Stanford. Yeah. Stanford came out, they beat USC. They look very good. They look very good. They look like what I wish to. The, they look like a, a 49ers type team, but they ground and pound their way mm-hmm. you know, to win. Um, another team that I'm looking out for is West Virginia child, Geno Smith. Mm-hmm. They look electric. You know, as good as Florida State looks, I think Geno Smith and those West Virginia Mountaineers, they look, I won't say just as good, but they look great offensively. And I got to give a shout out, even though I didn't agree with him on my team, I got to give a shout out to Rich Rodriguez. He has reinvented himself out in Arizona. He's went out there, his team is undefeated. Mm-hmm. He's, he's built it just like West Virginia was. How about the Wolverines? The Wolverines are having a tough week. They, we have a bye week. Luckily, ah. we have a bye week this week. We're two and two. I think we I took, a bye week. we yeah, we took a tough loss to Notre Dame. Uh, yeah, Denar bye, Robinson, bye bye week. Yeah, Denar Robinson himself said this is the worst game he's ever played. Are y'all, are y'all going to a bowl? This year? Yeah, we're going to a bowl. We're still going to a bowl. With, this, two, with, with two wins, it's already not a good bowl. But you, know what, <laughs> but you know what? We haven't played any conference games. Right. We haven't played any conference game. When we come out of the bye week, we play Purdue. Mm, that's an easy game. That be we play Purdue, so it gives us a chance to get our head together. Denar Robinson was responsible for five turnovers. You can't win with five turnovers. Well, I think the Notre Dame played that Michigan Wolverines team. The Wolverines are not a great passing team. Mm-hmm. Denar Robinson's not a great passer. If you force him, if you put it in the box, I don't say put it in the box, but if you force him to pass the ball, it's not. It's never going to be good. Well, I mean that, but also our top two leading receivers were hurt. Yeah. That's you, you can't win. So. Coming out of the bye week, we should have it. Well, the defense didn't show up either, man. No. I thought a Notre Dame team that I don't, I don't like their quarterback. I'm not no. a big fan of the Notre Dame quarterback. Yeah, I don't think he played very well, and he he made the move. Notre Dame dominated Michigan two weeks straight. They beat State. They blew State out. Yeah. And they beat us thirteen to six. Mm-hmm. You know, so shout out to Notre Dame. Yeah. You know, I, I expect my Wolverines to come out of the bye week swinging for the fence. Shout out to those helmets, man. Like, man, I don't know. I saw a little documentary of them and how they make the helmets every day. You know, put the spray of gold. You know, mm-hmm. I, I heard that it's actual gold. I don't know if that's true, but gold flakes. Yeah. Gold flakes. You know, mm-hmm. that's pretty cool. Man, shout out to Notre Dame. And uh, shout out to my Georgia Bulldogs. They are currently number five. They're four and zero. I don't see that lasting too much longer. I mean, I like the fact that Jarvis Jones is coming back. Yeah. You know, they play. That's they, big. They have an easy game against Vanderbilt. He's, he's arguably the top player in the country. Well, Mel really? Kiper already has him on his number one in the yeah. draft board. So Absolutely. Man. But I think they had an easy win this week. I don't think it's about this game. I think it's about the later games. We're going to have to play Florida. Florida's been looking good. They'll to... be Florida. Well, I mean, it, it'll be interesting to see because these teams are, they, are, they ain't no bleed. South Carolina's another team they're going to have to deal with. So. Oh, uh, one thing I want to say about college football is uh, for all those Arkansas fans, mm. you know, I understand the SEC is supposed to be the SEC. You know, the LSU fans too, man. But I, there's a lot of things in the SEC that I've seen that doesn't, it doesn't convince me that they're 
just automatically the best conference. No. Because mm-hmm. we have all these other teams who have been playing very well. Teams in the Pac-10. Big 12. Big 12. I mean, it, it, it's getting closer now. The competition getting closer yeah. with these super conferences. Absolutely. The competition getting way closer. So yeah, you know, pay attention, man. We're going to end the show. We just crossed over into 100 minutes. No oh, God. <laughs> you guys are making me work extremely hard. Hey, man, we got to bring the product to people. No, absolutely. Absolutely. Real Talk Sports. We appreciate y'all because we have been getting more comments, fellas. I haven't told y'all. The last show, we got some comments. Hey, man. I always, I always, I want to put up a little column, man. If you, if you got anything you want to debate me about, or if you got some problem with what I got to say, let me know, man. I'll, I'll take what you got to say. You know, put it on the show. Yeah. Shot you out. And I'll just tell you why you're wrong. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so you check us out, man. We'll be here every week. Um, these shows are coming out like hotcakes. We wait, wait, wait. I have breaking news. Oh, this guy. Breaking news. More break. I have to end it with breaking news. Let's hear it. While we've been on the air doing the show, Roger Goodell has come out in a, on a conference call and apologized to the fans. Quickly, he said, quote, Obviously, when you go through something like this, it is painful for everybody. Everybody it says, most importantly, it is painful for our fans. We're sorry to have to put our fans through that, but it is something that in the short term, you sometimes have to do to make sure you get the right kind of deal for the long term and make sure you continue to grow the game. So he's come out and he's on serious, like, you know, PR, like, uh, trying to. Yeah, he has to. Ease My the, whole thing is if you, if you have <clears> time <throat> to apologize to the fans, then you have time to get the package that way. Mm. Oh, he just can't. He got to let it go. He's not going to let it go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's he not going to get it. He's not going to get it. I'll put it to you like this, Goodell. I hope when you get fired or retired that you go wherever George Bush is. Oh. Uh, because I, uh, well, regardless of what everybody else said, I've never supported you as a commissioner. And I think that you have put a lot of blips in our game. And I hope that the next commissioner is actually somebody who played the sport and was actually good at it. Because you are a pussy, sir. Real Talk Sports. But, but tell us what you really think there, Mr. Scott. <laughs> Real Talk Sports. I'm Scott Baker signing off. Appreciate y'all. Keep leaving the comments. And next show, I promise we'll talk about it on air. Hey man, it's VK that dude. You know, follow me on Twitter. Uh, I only got one more thing I gotta say. Uh, the ESPN NBA rankings came out and they had Melo at 17. Fuck ESPN, y'all are fools, y'all are idiots. I don't wanna hear shit. Melo's gonna be MVP. Fuck the world. <laughs> I'm Delu. You make sure you come back here. We're here in the Atlanta Metro. Making it happen, making it swing. So bring it on, baby. We're here waiting for you. We're gonna talk sports, baby.